Decoding the puzzle, Chinese culture, familial transfers and disputes in Western courts. More and more Chinese live in Western countries nowadays and many disputes over transfers between Chinese family members are brought to Western courts. Generally, little documentary evidence on such transactions is available and the oral evidence is commonly divergent as to what was agreed and what happened. Western judges are faced with the puzzle whether the transfer was a gift, a loan or an equity investment. This article elaborates on the relevant Chinese cultural dimensions and the recent developments. It discusses the cultural relevance in determining the nature of such transfers and investigates whether clearly established Chinese cultural norms could be admissible evidence aiding the interpretation, or even implied terms, of the transaction. It argues that Chinese culture should be seriously considered in assessing the credibility of Chinese witnesses. The face in the West is neutral, referring to a person's identity in a particular situation, whereas Mayanzi in Chinese culture represents a positive social value and a self-image earned from social interactions. Mayanzi must be maintained for feasible guanxi relationships. Guanxi may be originated from kinship or established during long-term networking and maintained by long-term favor exchange. Guanxi are regarded as a long-term investment for future help and support, and its popularity reflects the strong long-term orientation feature of Chinese culture. Guanxi, especially long-term Guanxi, between Chinese parties influences not only the substantive terms and conditions but also the formality and procedural matters of the transaction. Mayanzi must be maintained for feasible guanxi relationships. Guanxi may be originated from kinship or established during long-term networking and maintained by long-term favor exchange. Confucianism is the root of Chinese culture with long-lasting effects on the Chinese ethnic communities, as illustrated by recent court decisions in Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and some legislation in mainland China. However, some dimensions of Chinese culture have changed drastically within decades, with the rapid change in the economic, political, social, and legal environments. The ultimate task of trial judges is to ascertain the intention of the transfer of wealth which is to be inferred from the contemporaneous documentary evidence, if available, reliable oral evidence, or admissible evidence in other forms. This article protects the prevailing common law presumptions, and proposes an analytical model aiming to assist Western judges and lawyers to assess the cultural influence properly for better answers to the puzzles.